So, Rich, we're starting a new podcast. Yeah, we are. We decided, and it's been a long time coming, that we uh, were to do this. What are we calling it? We are calling it Bonus Action. It's a play on words, because uh, it's bonus action coming from us. Something new for you guys, but we're also playing Dungeons & Dragons, and so anybody who knows of D&D and generally any other tabletop podcast, or tabletop game in general, a bonus action is part of the game. So it's a little bit of play on words. It's a bonus action, a tabletop podcast action. You already said we're playing Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, what's the world? You're, you're, you're DMing. Uh, yeah, I am DMing, and it is not the same world as the one-shots we did, although that city will probably be in this world at some point. Um, it is my own homebrew world that I have created from scratch with uh, a home game that I have had ongoing for at least two years now. Um, it is called Caloria, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's my passion project, kind of. We'll see. This is a little off script, for lack of a better word. Since you're using the same world, how different will this iteration be than, say, the one that you, you're playing with through in a different campaign? Uh, so this campaign is taking place about 50 years prior to my home my home game. And uh, they are exploring a continent that is not really highly explored in the home game, really even talked about. Um, and they're actually helping me build out the continent known as Edax. It's hidden under a cloud, uh, an endless uh, storm, an endless maelstrom. And they're just, it's going to be a little bit more of a harder campaign, survivability. They're going to have to worry about food and rationing and things like that. However, we've got a couple of people who can forage for berries all the time, so that's cool. And then what kind of uh, settings uh, do you think the players will be able to expect early early on in the campaign so early on is going to be a lot of mountainous and jungle settings uh i am taking an uh a lot of reference from a bunch of different gaming media and rpgs and uh for those of you who play monster hunter or no monster hunter some of the early creatures you might recognize those names but it's primarily jungle there's going to be all sorts of biomes on this planet or on this continent but we're going to start a lot in jungle, wastelands, and, and mountainous. Now, what can the, the listeners anticipate being in store for? Like I said before, a lot of pop culture references. Things like Monster Hunter, uh, maybe some uh, occasional Diablo or other RPGs. Uh, some just silly antics with the uh, wild cast of characters that we have. For instance, we have a halfling, I believe he is, who wants to be a dwarf. So that's fun. And some... Serious play style that uh, I've told the group, make sure you're having fun, but make sure it's fun to listen to. And now, what rule set are you using? We are using 5th uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons. That That is the edition I started with. That is the edition I know the best. I'm allowing them to use all rule sets that are available, and if they come up with an Unearthed Arcana that I don't quite know, I need to read through it and make sure it is fairly balanced. Uh, we did, for stat rolls, we did... Um, I do 4d6 seven, six times, like the stats, and they could choose to re-roll one of them at the end, but they have to take the new roll. So if they choose to re-roll a 10 and roll an 8, they have to take that 8 instead of that 10. Okay. Do you want to run through real quick what everybody is playing as? Uh, yeah. So we have, uh, on our cast, we have a warlock. We have a s- source wizard bard. A, wiz- a multi-class wizard bard, a paladin of conquest, and a monk. And just for 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 podquest listeners, Drew will be joining us mm-hmm. on this game, as well as Eric from our first what hundred and fifty, two hundred episodes. Yes, and uh, for any of you who listen to Brose, Sean is one of the co-players, as well as uh, we've had Tim on a couple episodes of Brose as well. So if you're fans of Brose, there's and fans of podquest, everyone's in it. It's like Smash Brothers. <laughs> Absolutely. This is the Smash Bros. ultimate of the projects I work on. Basically. And then this first episode uh, should actually be going up on, let's say, the 1st of November. So next Monday. It's going to be released bi-weekly. So every other week you will get a new episode. If, though, you want to head over to our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash OneQuest, you can back us at certain tiers to actually get the entire session in one big recording. Which, you know, may- maybe that's how you prefer it. And it'll help us to be able to make more of this content and maybe maybe release the episodes a little more frequently than every other week. But yeah, anything else, anything else you want to say about the game or 
such. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be a blast. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. See you on Monday.